what is up what is up what is up fs club new mods in again today guys new mods really really good mods but before we get into them i want to basically talk to you guys about something uh remember guys when you guys download mods and you know you install them make sure you guys go back after you install them so you have to make sure you have them installed first go to the mod section and make sure you go to like say like somerset somerset right here is two and a half stars because the whole mess up with seasons not working well seasons works on it now so make sure you guys go back to it and vote i believe right now there is let's see how many votes is actually on this map right now there is 1273 votes on it and 2.7 is the rating right now well guys Let's see if we can get this up. Let's see if we can get this up for Steve. You know, Steve always joins us on the uh, live streams and all that good stuff, and he's making these maps. So let's see if we can get that up. Let's see if we can hit three stars. Let's see if we can hit three stars by the end of today, guys. And let's see if we can hit about, let's say about 1,500 votes by the end of the day. We're at 1,273. Let's see if we can hit 1,500. So what you guys do is make sure you go to mod section, make sure you have the map installed, you click that X button or A button on Xbox, and you click that, see that square right there where it says rate? Make sure you go over and rate it. Make sure you hit that rate button, guys. Give it five stars or whatever you guys think it is. To me, I think it's five stars. It's an amazing map. I believe Mr. Silly P is also talking about doing a Let's Play on it, and I'll probably be doing a Let's Play on this one. Uh, but yes, I put five stars, and as soon as you get done, see it says right there, mod successfully rate it. So there is that. Okay, let's go on over and take a look at these new mods, guys. Okay, here we are on Marwell Manor, guys. Let's take a look at these awesome mods today, guys. First one is amazing. Look at this mod right here. This is the main TGS 18500 bail transport. 21 slots, $180,500. This thing can hold 28 square bales or 40 round bales. A uh, really, really nice mod right here. Let's actually take a look at it in the shop real quick. Let's go over here. Let's go under trucks. And there's actually two versions of it. There's a square one and then there's a round one. Uh, really nice. 500 horsepower. Uh, let's you change the rim color to anything. Design color the same. And main color the same. Will Brand, you got Trellborg, uh, Lizard, or just Trellborg. You got 18500. You got the turbo, which brings it all the way up to 875 horsepower. So that is a huge jump right there. Okay, so there is that. Let's go inside of it. Uh, let's actually bring up the help window so we can see what we got. We got operating position, uh, regular position, got horn, got fasten. Uh, and that is it on that. Let's take a look at the inside. Here is the inside. There's the engine. You do got beacons right there. Got lights. This is a really nice little mod right here. Okay, and we got a beacon in the back right there. Okay, so that is a nice little mod. Okay, let's turn that off real quick. Let's go on over to, hold on a second. Let's go on to the store. So at the store, I have one of these. Uh, this is for square bells. What we're gonna do is we're going to buy some square bells. Let's buy, let's buy eight right there. Okay, there's eight. Okay, so there is eight right there. We're just making sure that this thing works completely. Uh, how much did we say this thing can hold up to 28? So we got eight right there. Hold on, we're gonna buy a few more. Okay, there's 16 and then 24. Okay, we're, we're gonna try to fill this thing all the way up. Okay, so we should be able to just push the L1 operating position and they should start, oh yeah, definitely start loading up right there. And look, look at that. That looks really good right there. Okay, operating. Okay, now there we go. Like how it's on top right there. Okay, fasten belts. I really wish on the auto transports, like when you do the fasten belts, they would actually go over them. It sucks that they don't, but it is what it is. Okay, let's go to unload real quick. Okay, so unload. Okay, that's the only bad thing about the unload. It goes right there, and of course, those other two are just going to fall down. Uh, let's go right there. Let's go to unload. See those two fell down, but still look at that Really neatly stacks. I like this mod Definitely gonna be using this in my let's play. Okay, so let's go back over to here Okay, so that was the man TGS really nice little mod Next one we have this is the horse Toronto 5 FM five slots $23,000 
4.8 working meters, guys. And of course, what this is, this is a cultivator. And yes, it's not a three meter cultivator. Where you can find this one, let's go under here, let's go under tools. Let's go all the way to the end, right over here. Where is it at? Cultivators, there you are. Go all the way to the end. And there it is right there. It does require 205 horsepower. Uh, let's see, but there is no options on that one. So nice little cultivator. Next one, this is a nice one right here too. This is the Fiat 1000 series pack. 22 slots, uh, 26,500 to 32,500 for the all wheel drive one. So we got two wheel drive. We have a Fiat two wheel drive finally on console. And then we also got the all wheel drive right there. This is of course a small tractor. Where you can find the, actually, you know what? Let, let's actually take a look at these real quick. Let's get in here. Let's bring up the help window. Uh, let's see, no options on that, no options on that besides the horn. The L1 and R1, yes, there is options on it so we can do stuff with it, yay! So that is using the right stick with the L1 and R1. So you can open up the back window. Uh, let's see, the right stick down and up. You can open up the front window. And then let's see, the left stick. What does that do? That opens up the door on it. So that's nice. Okay, lights. Nice inside. Nice little engine sounds. Looks like everything's working. Looks nice. I like this one. This one's pretty nice. Okay. Let's actually see where you can actually find this. And wait till, the, of course, the PlayStation saves. I, I always need to turn that thing off. Okay, where you can find these. Let's go under here. Let's go under small tractors. See, there's the original one right there. And the original one was, what, 10 slots? This one is 22 slots, so about 12 more slots. But as you can see, the original one has 150 horsepower. This one can go actually up higher than that. And there's two of them. See, we got the two-wheel drive one and the all-wheel drive one. Uh, let's see. Change the rim color. You either got worn white, restored white, worn gray, uh, restored in black. Design colors, uh, the same thing, except for you got the orange one, too, and the green one. And then the main color, I believe it is the same, too, the oranges or the greens. Uh, configurations, you have standard, you have one, 100 kilogram front weight. I hate how it does that, how it just automatically puts you all the way back to the top again. See, 700. And then back to standard again. We have Trailborg, Nikian, Michelin, Midas. Uh, you even had Lizard Crawl Tracks. So you can have called Crawl Tracks on this Fiat. Wow. Uh, you have Trailborg, you have standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires, extra wide tires. Rear twin wheels, narrow tires, and back to standard. You have beacon lights, you have known, uh, none. Left front, right front, left rear beacon, right rear beacon, dual beacon lights, dual beacon lights two, Diag diagonal beacon lights one, diagonal beacon lights two. So this thing has a lot of options on it. Design, we have standard, we have stainless steel exhaust, you have straight exhaust, and then back to standard engine, you have 1000 DT, which is 110. The 13,000 DT, which is, of course, the original, the 150. The 13 DT tuned. Now, that is 185. So, there is that one. Also, let's see. Hold on. Was there anything else? Yes, you can also put a front loader on it, too. And it has the same options for this one, too, guys. Okay, so that is the Fiat. Really, really nice mod. Next one we have is the Flegel F... Sorry. Flegel VFW 25,000. Four slots. $32,000. Uh, it holds up to $25,000 of, of course, uh, slurry or digestate. And it is also a spreader, too, guys. So, nice little spreader right over here. Where you can find this one, let's go over here. Let's go under slurry tanks. All the way at the end. There it is right there. It does require 200 horsepower. It has 20 meter working width. So, that's not bad right there. There is no options on that one. So, there is that. Next one, everybody's wondering, what is up with this thing on here? This is the Kosher HDS 918 4, uh, 4M. It is four slots, $4,500, and of course it is a power washer. See? Nice little power washer right here. It's really nice. I don't really use this that much, but yeah. I haven't really ever noticed the steam off of there, but there's that right there. But what is different about this Let's actually, let's just get in the Fiat right here. Let's get, let's use it. Okay, you know the base game one, right? Base game one, you run into that thing, guess what's gonna happen? 
it's going to be like you're hitting a brick wall. That thing is not going to move whatsoever. This one, it moves, as you guys can see. So, of course, you get a forklift or anything like that, and guess what? You're able to actually move it around the map. So that is pretty nice right there. Let's just go ahead and park this Fiat. Let's put it right back over here in the parking lot. Okay, there's that. I like that two-wheel drive. So, of course, you can actually move this thing now. You have to have a forklift or something like that to move it. You cannot pick it up. Object's too heavy. Where you can find this, it will be under miscellaneous right here. And there it is right there. Of course, it's just like a regular placeable when you put it down now. Okay, so there is that one. Speaking of placeables, let's get to the placeables for today. Okay, the first placeable we have, this is Old Shed. Two slots, $8,000. It is seasons ready too. Uh, just a little bit area to put, you know, your bales or your vehicles right there. No lights on that one. Where you can find this one. Let's go under sheds. And there it is right there. And it has 360 degree rotation on that one. Okay, so there is that. Next one, small chicken shed. 20 slots, guys. This is 20 slots. $20,000, but it can hold six chicken. This <laughs> thing so can hold less chicken than the slot count. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, let's uh, go to help window right there. There's animal dialogue. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That is it right there. That is as many chickens as this thing can hold. And there they are right there. And why are they black? I thought I bought them white ones. Okay. Don't know why they're black like that. Okay. What's in here? This is probably where you get your egg boxes or something, if it opens. Yeah, I think this is probably where you get your egg boxes. But do you, where do you put your feet in? Like right over here or something? Or maybe right there? Hmm. Don't know. Okay. Uh, is there lights actually in here? Like a light? Oh, yeah. There's a light switch right here. If we can hit, make it, maybe it doesn't turn on. Yeah. Okay, the light switch doesn't work. Huh. Is there another light switch over here? Yeah, there's another light switch over here, and this one don't work either. Okay. So where you can find this chicken stable right here. Animal pins. All the way at the end, and there it is right there. $2 a day and 360 degree rotation right there. Okay, next one we have, this is cattle stables right here. 12 to 14 slots, $15,000. They can hold up to eight cows. It is this one right here and that one right up there. Uh, so let's see, we got some triggers right here. Looks like probably feed and straw. What's this one right here? Nothing. Uh, that is nothing right there either. Okay, where do you bring them in at? Okay, you bring them in right here. So this thing can hold eight. So there we go right there. Little bitty cramped space right here, jeez. It is really cramped. Wow. Looks like manure right there. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty much this one right here. The gates do open on it, so not bad. Okay, so where you can find these uh, pens. And there they are right there. We have, of course, the uh, uh, cattle stable and then this cattle stable right there. See, there's just two differences really quick right there. Uh, Fifteen dollars a day, three hundred sixty degree rotation on those ones. Okay, the last mod for today, guys. Another cow one. These two right here are cow barn, cows barn. Seventeen slots, seventy thousand dollars, and this one too, eight cows. So it's kind of weird. These are both eight cows. That thing actually opens. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Go open up here. Does that open? Okay, yes, that does open. Okay, looks like probably feed and water in here. That one open too. Takes a minute. There we go. Uh, what is this right here? Okay, this is where you bring them in. So let's buy a few right there. Another little bitty cramped space. So that is that. That's probably where you get your milk right there. Or that might be for your milk. One of them might be for your straw too. I don't see a, a manure pit though. Can you actually go up here? Yeah, you can actually go up here. Huh. Can you open open this door? Oh, you can actually open that door. What's well, actually in here? Let's see. Got to like walk on the banister just to get up here. Oh, do you know what this would be nice right here? If they would put a little bit more room, right? If they put a little bit more room and you could actually, you know, carry up those one bales up here. You know, those little bee bales you can actually pick up. That would be nice, but it needs a little bit more room. 
So, Modder, if you're listening, put a little bit more room right here. Okay, so there is that's one. Where you can find that, animal pens, close to the end, there they are right there. $70,000 right there. Uh, of course, they're just really different colors. You either have the brick one or the white one. And then this one does not have 360 degree rotation. Basically, you just flip it like that. Okay, so that is the mods for today. We also got a new geo for today, guys. And the geo we got today was for season central Poland. And what it says for that is weather and vegetation period of central Poland. The weather data comes from the city of Lod Lodz. I believe that's how you pronounce that. So there is that one. We also got a, quite a few updates today. We got an update to the Big Brute 425-100 uh, from Black Sheep Modding. This update it added realistic wheels, fixed air with sprayer having different shades. So there is that one. Uh, we also got an update to Somerset by Steve Mods. Make sure you guys do vote for that one, guys. Uh, let's see. Now season's working. Moved chickens. Fixed shop icon. Fixed few details are on the map. Moved water tank to cow yard. Put gate on a field 33. Seven uh, also field missions and grass missions. So I will probably be doing a let's play on this map right here, guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned in for that. Okay, so there is that one. We also got an update to the Vertistad Rapid 300C 400C. This update, let's see, um, added Rapid 400C, added fertilizer configuration, added hoses, and changed the wheels on that one. Also got an update to the modular map. Uh, let's see, this update, let's see, added addition of popular cultivation, compatibility DLC Anderson Group equipment pack. So that was for the modular map. Then the last update we got for was for the Fiat 80 series. And this update right here added visible motor, transparent grids, uh, and new tire configurations. Okay, so that is all the new mods for today. That was a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, let me know which one is your guys' favorite mod. I would have to say, of course, this either this auto loader right here or the Fiat. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Let me know what you guys think. Remember, guys, put in the comment section below, hashtag FS consoles. Like always, guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys pound that like button. If you haven't subbed, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an all-state farmers. Peace. Yeah.